What is going on everybody? Nazdarachi coming back at you again today with another episode for Dragon Ball Legends. Now this one actually shouldn't be too terribly long. We're just going to start the episode with some very high tier rumors that are very reliable and credible. And the background art, you can kind of wager a guess about what that's going to be. And then we're going to lead directly into my next three Legends Battle Royal fights. And they go fairly smoothly as well. There won't be any commentary for me during that. So I'll only be here for this quick little initial part. And then I'll just leave the fights. No commentary. Straight up action. And then the episode will be done for today, you guys. So the part that we have to talk about really quickly is obviously going to be the red trunks you see in the background right there. Sorry, I forget everything's opposite. So, what about that red trunks you say? Well, he is most likely going to be our next Zenkai unit, you guys. Now, this is coming from a credible source that predicted the Legends Road Gohan, that as well has predicted a couple of our recent banners to a T. They may actually have some inside information. I don't know. I just report on the tidbits of information that I get passed along. And basically how the planned Zenkai structure seems to be unfolding, you guys, based off what we're hearing, is that they are going to prioritize older sparking units that have access to ultimate arts techniques. This next trunks is going to be the rumored next target and i can't stress that enough you guys so if it turns out that it's somebody else so don't come you know with pitchforks and torches to try and take me down because i'm just reporting again what i've heard but with credibility and past experience being correct behind it so trunks is going to be next you guys and it's rumored that he may be coming with or shortly followed up by the Super Vegeta, the yellow one that buffs all Super Saiyan units, and the yellow Android 18, who is dang near useless, you guys. So those are the next three planned Zenkai units, as far as I have been informed based off of credible rumors. So again, do not hold it against me if anything changes. It's a good idea, if you're interested in any of those three characters specifically, to start farming up their friendship, you guys. And still, the best level for farming friendship is 2-1-9. And just for anyone that might be confused by that, that's what part two, book one, chapter nine, if I'm not mistaken. It's kind of like Super Mario Brothers or something where it's like world two, level one, stage nine but they just word it differently, you guys. So 219, you do get 900 friend XP for completing that stage. And you may be saying, but wait, there's that new stage for Super Saiyan 3 Goku that gives more friend XP. Well, it only gives 1,080, which is 180 more. And the time to complete the level is actually significantly more than farming 219 on easy. So in terms of efficiency sake, you will still get more in a less amount of time than doing the Super Saiyan 3 Goku stage. However, it might take you those few extra runs. So you have to budget energy tickets and energy consumption with time invested and how you want to proceed in that, in, in that sense of you know balancing your efficiencies there. I will say that on 219, it does take about 1,000 to 1,200 runs completions of that stage to get your character to the ballpark of friendship 10 that's a lot of energy tickets and a lot of time you guys so that's why i'm saying you might want to start working on the trunks the super vegeta potentially the android 18 a little bit in advance knowing that this rumor may be correct you guys that's about all i had to report on today if you are curious about anything else of course comment down below what your thoughts are if you, you just want to let me know, what do you think of these Zenkai units, the Zenkai system in general? Of course, again, let me know down below. I do think it's frustrating how long it takes to get a character to Friendship 10 to unlock this. There's definitely one of those um, player satisfaction and achievement sensations of earning things going on with getting these Zenkai units right now anyway, till we get a better way to farm Friendship EXP or like unlimited completions of the Goku event per day, or, or at least maybe like five of each stage per day it would be nice, or a new third stage. 
potentially, that gave a lot more. Would also be nice. Anyway, you guys, let me know your thoughts on the Zenkai system down below. And as well, let me know what your thoughts are on just the game in general and the Legends Battle Royal mode. We are going to transition into my three fights versus just random people online today for my LBR ticket usage. I uh, had some pretty good matches. One of them was especially good. The other two were kind of eh. Again, you'll see, of course, in the comments down below. Let me know how your matches are going. I do believe that this team, Fusions, that I'm running, that I explained in my previous video, the Fusions team is one of the best teams you could possibly run. And you'll see that in this video. Check out their health levels. Check out their general tankiness and damage output is mostly there but with this mode especially rising rush is particularly useful because a lot of characters have like almost two million health if not potentially a little bit more if they're building for that specifically so keep all that in mind you guys i hope you enjoy the gameplay i'm gonna duck out now and of course i'll be checking you out again soon for another video so this is me saying goodbye early but still more stuff to come so stick around if you want to check out that gameplay Again, peace out. Have a great day, y'all. We'll see you again real soon. The, 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 the most bizarre and brutal series of crimes in America. <laughs>
without letting me go all out? Separate the soul. Ha! <laughs> 
So boring. You fool! Prepare to die! Electro Eclipse Bomb! Victory is mine! 